fresh trouble for Fadambaka as his adoration ministry is shut down. See crisis. You see, it's uncalled for and unfair. Yes, it's unfair. You see, look at what has just happened to Fadambaka despite the fact that Peter Obi have not even entered as a president. He has not entered. Someone is already getting harmed. Left alone, if he succeeds in becoming president, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Hmm. My listeners, this is the reason why something needs to be done and be done very fast. Um, Peter Obi, I will say you are losing the opportunity of becoming president gradually. In fact, you have lost it. You have completely lost it. Let's check the content. This is morning news. Fresh trouble has come for the spiritual leader of the Adoration Ministry, Enugu, Reverend Father E.G.K. Mbaka, as Catholic banned clerics and faithful members from attending his ministry. Nigerian News reports that Mbaka's adversity started after he, the renowned cleric made a derogatory comment about Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. Mbaka, while addressing his congregants earlier on Wednesday, June 15th, described Obi as a stingy man who will never be the president of Nigeria. The cleric said Obi lacked the spirit of generosity, saying it is better to have a president who is a gifted old man than a young man with gum hands. His comment has since received a barrage of backlash from Nigeria across states. Though Mbaka has, in a statement on Friday, tendered an apology to the former governor of Anambra State, more punishment has emerged for his consistent comments, which are considered not in line with the Catholic teachings. The Catholic Bishop of Enugu Diocese, Bishop Callistus Onaga, in a statement obtained by Niger News on Saturday today, imposed a ban on Reverend Father Mbaka's adoration ministry. In a letter he personally signed, addressed to all the clary, religious, and lay faithfuls in the Catholic Diocese of Enugu, Bishop Onaga banned the Christian group from having anything to do with the adoration ministry. According to him, Mbaka has veered off the church persistent directives and in fulfillment of his pastoral duties as a chief shepherd, I hereby prohibit all Catholic clergy, religious and lay faithfuls henceforth from attending all religious and liturgical activity of the Catholic adoration ministry until the due canonical process initiated by the diocese is concluded. Why noting that his decision was based on the fact that Mbaka's teachings and utterances were not consistent with the teachings of the Catholic Church, he enjoined all Christian faithfuls to keep praying for Father Mbaka. Um, sir, um, I will be very blunt in this very uh, decision of yours. It hasn't come to this for you to be this um, ash. It hasn't come to that at all. Because I wonder, I wonder what else is going to happen if Peter will be succeed as a president of Nigeria. How many people will be armed for his sake? He has not been president. Look at people that are armed. Hmm? See how people have been armed. He has not been president. Um, yes, I agree with you. 
Mbaka was just too um were, were just too open. They wouldn't have released that word like that. But then it hasn't called for this um derogatory derogatory decision of yours. Because you see, Mbaka is a priest of God. Nobody is above mistake. Anybody can make mistake. You get it? Anybody can make mistake. So punishing Mbaka by shutting down his adoration ministry, I tell you, is not the best, sir. It's not the best. Yes, it's not the best. Because you are in the in you're now indirectly preventing those that want to be blessed from being blessed. Do you know how many lives have been touched by that adoration ministry? Do you know? Do you know? That is the problem. So that is why you would have been a little um, lenient in your in, in your decision. You shouldn't have this been this harsh and tough. You were too hard, too hard in your decision, and it's too wrong, very wrong. So, sir, with every sincerity, I will tell you that you've not said it correctly at all. You've not, but rather you've oversaid it, and you will see what that decision of yours is going to cause at the later end. You will see the lives that is going to affect. You understand? And that's just it. So, my dear faithfuls, I want to enjoin you to join me in speaking to the bishop in charge of Rambaka's diocese. Okay? To understand the gravity of the decision that he has just taken. And know that it was just too to ash hmm. all right um my dear listeners i would like to hear from you at least to know what you think and what your take and opinion on this very um broadcast maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.